<laughs> we have a new camera and it doesn't have a wide enough angle so I have to kind of do this and this. I still have a wide angle. <laughs> off my middle until, uh, no, look at that. It's not on your middle. It's... You moved it. I'll try to Let's remember give the illusion to... that I'm skinny. <laughs> the show is skinny. <laughs> Where are we headed, Ilsa? We're going to the lake. To the see, lake. To see a band perform. One of our favorite bands. This band. Let's see my shirt. The Probables. The Probables. I'll flip that and post. One of our favorite <laughs> bands. Oh, I'm so sweaty. You'll be all right. The Probables. They're friends of ours. And they rehearse in our building. And they do a lot of concerts in our building too at the Spire Theater. The Inspire Development Center, which is the home of the Inspire Engine, or the home base of the Inspire Engine. The Inspire Engine's home is the world. That's right. We're just putting, you know, trying to keep things running because we haven't driven the bus in a little bit. Yes. So we're, we're taking on a little journey. It's, it's probably like 20 miles, maybe, well, maybe 40 miles round trip. Yeah, something like that. We are finally scheduled to get the boost replaced on the Inspire engine, which is very exciting. The boost, the, the, the turbo. We're getting a remanned turbo and a new exhaust back pressure valve. And we are going with what's tried and true, our hometown mechanic, who yes. doesn't even they, specialize in diesel. No, they don't work on diesels, but this is a pretty straightforward kind of that doesn't fix the problem, the Inspire engine might get auctioned off. <laughs> For someone to just park it. Literally. It'll fix the problem. It'll fix the problem. We've we've gotten diagnostics done by what? Seven different mechanics in seven different states? Yeah. Yeah. We know what's wrong with it now. Yeah. So hopefully doing these two things will be the trick and we'll be back. And the nice thing about J1 Auto, our mechanic who is always maintenance our, you know, just our regular cars. Um, he doesn't care to charge us up the wazoo for diagnostics. Did you just really say up the wazoo? Up the wazoo. That's my husband, guys. <laughs> what, is that embarrassing? Super embarrassing. Why? Charge us up know, the wazoo. You've like, never heard that before? Yes, I've heard it. It's not a thing. It, I'm cringing so hard. My insides are like turning outward. Okay. Maybe I'll rephrase it. He, he doesn't want to uh, gouge, gouge us. On, yes, price gouge. On, yeah, he doesn't want to price gouge us on diagnostics. What's a wazoo? Isn't that an... Like, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, see, that's the... Wazoo is a nice way of saying that word. Right, but that's what people think of. They picture something going up and it. Okay, okay, okay. You're gonna have to I'm gonna have to put out. a lot of horn hon honking sound effects <laughs> in this episode. I just you have to think of the imagery you give people, and when you say something like that, it's like, ew, why? Just say that. <laughs> anyway. We told them the stories, all of the stories of our travels and all of the mechanics and what we have narrowed it down to. And he says, yeah, sounds right. I'll just do it. And we're like, okay, because we don't want to pay any more diagnostic fees. And he said, have we ever charged you for diagnostic fees? So thank you, Jason at J1 Auto. Hopefully you do a yeah. good job so we don't have to like rip out. you a new wazoo on YouTube. <laughs> 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 you like how I made that full circle? <laughs> uh, He'll do a good job. I'm fully confident in Jason. We're, but, we're short a few kids today, though. Yep. Loji and Kati, the good kids. Just kidding. <laughs> the littles are at my mom's house for the weekend. So we are hitting the road again just for, you know, just today. Just for a couple hours. Yeah. Just for a short little jaunt and uh it's good let the open up the engine a little bit um 
and it's it's fine to drive just little bits here and there without a boost especially since you know we're in the foothills of western New York as opposed to you know the Colorado Rockies <laughs> yeah I feel and we're close to home so like if we have any trouble we can get home yeah. to the theater so that's good so we just have two big kids with us today yep and not extra kid she's home haven't seen her in a little bit yep we have Raya, our daughter, and my sister's child is along with us today. They're good kids, except they've already started trashing the bus within moments of getting in here. It's yeah, like within things. moments. And it's like that's what children were designed to do, is just destruction. Uh, maybe we'll get a little footage of the band playing. And you get to see some actual music on the Inspire Engines YouTube channel. Instead of just, you know, the stuff that we Instead put of me in the background taking a music. shower. <laughs> Instead of you taking a shower? Yeah. We're is... musical people and, and our channel doesn't have a lot of music because of copyright issues. Yeah. But another thing that we are doing now that we're back in town is we're getting the band back together. We're going to start working on some of the songs that we were writing before we got shut down and weren't allowed to perform or gather and stuff. And uh, we're going to come out with an album with original music and we'll be able to use that on our YouTube channel without having to worry about any copyright issues. It'll be great. Yep. Hope you guys like Boogaloo music. If you don't know what Boogaloo music is, comment below and let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on what is Latin Boogaloo.
until it started pouring. The Probables got through most of their set. I think they stopped about 10 minutes early because there was some lightning. It drizzled a little bit, which was appropriate because the Probables have a lot of songs about rain. So <laughs> I love their songs about rain too. It was thematic and it felt kind of good because it was hot today so just a little drizzle was nice. But now it's really coming down. It is really coming like, down. Show, turn the camera sheets. around and you'll see the lake is pretty much not even visible right now. Can you see it from there? Yeah. We can see all the way across the lake before, now it's just like a white cloud of rain. Yep. And you can also just like see how much rain is on the windshield. So the poor band is packing up all their equipment in the rain, and the sound guys are packing up all their stuff in the rain. Which was, but it was like right, right when they finished playing, it started coming down. It was like the yeah. curtain was closing. With yep. rain. <laughs> curtain of rain was closing. So it was pretty perfect. But you know, a lot of people left early. Like the first raindrop, and people are like, oh, let's go. I know. People yeah, are just so this. wimpy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll drive over to the ice cream place and we'll just scope it out. Like if there's a lid That's over okay. there that we can stand under. Okay. Can I go out that way or is it enter only over there? I have no idea. Oops, it's rude. But if uh, if we can make it work legally, we'll start playing Rainy Day right now. They're really good guys. And we get to listen to them every Tuesday. It's fun to watch them perform. Is our generator okay getting wet? Yeah. It's fun to see them live. It's very different than just hearing them down the hall. Oh yeah. Well, I think it was a successful little adventure. It was. Hey, Jen. Hey, Say it's a dream, but... 